I'm making slow art. It's against the spirit of the age where everything's hurry now more quickly. Instant, you know, microwave culture. Everything has to be now. You know, I'm slowing down and kind of finding different rhythms, taking three, four, six months to make a piece. It's really key that I see every vein of every feather. So I need really beautiful quality leather. A sculptor has chisels and I have these. A piece is made up of millions of tiny individual blade slices. Details paramount, pressure of the blade is paramount. The piece overall is only as good as any particular square centimeter. It's about making every single mark count. So it's somewhere between shaving and etching. The bald eagle has become something beyond iconic. You know, it's beyond a bird. You have to approach bald eagles with a degree of reverence. These are really important birds to the entire continent of North America. It all begins with the idea. Once I've got a rough sketch of the idea in my mind, the next stage is to decide what leather to use, what color, what quality, how it marks, how soft. I'll kind of buy in samples from around the world and just, you know, throw different hides down, just play on the edge with some blades. And then it'll all get framed. As you can see here, it gets bonded to tulip wood panels, which don't warp, really superior quality wood. The panel will be hung and I'll begin the work. Prior to that, I've got to do the photo shoot. In many ways, the first pass at creating the work, you have to create it in camera. I have developed a style of photography that is as close to my leather etching style as possible. We'll overpower the sun if we have to in terms of light source to create that tonality and dynamic range. My aim is to get the photography to look exactly how I want the etching to look. And that requires working with huge cameras, the phase ones, and really good lighting. Nobody will have seen a feather as close as the lens of the phase one wool. The detail it captures is, you know, more than the human eye can see. And so to capture that and to give some sense of the wonder of that in the eagle is going to be really huge. I work with really good photographers who truly understand how to capture reality in the lens. I'm always trying to capture motion and the spirit of the idea. With this bald eagle, it's the nuances and the gestures and the unpredictability that catches you off guard. Fear and the trepidation of that moment is what captures the, the spirit of the piece. When you mark something with a blade, whatever a blade passes through is changed forever. What's been carved can never be uncarved. By its very nature, a, a knife makes irreversible marks for good or bad. You, you know, when you approach the hide with a blade, I always say there's no apple Z when you're working with leather. You can't undo the marks you've made. Mm -hmm. 